guys, it's Nerf the Dave here, and we're going to be doing a review on the Zombie Strike Side Strike Nerf Gun. Well, we're about to get into it, so here you go. strike slide yeah side strike so in it it comes with six darts six zombie strike darts um there's the gun that kind of thing uh, i'll start about the box so on the front it's your normal zombie strike picture with the guy holding the gun you have your uh name of the gun uh on the back you just have your kind of almost direction kind of things on here uh little mission thing uh, mission when you need to reach react fast target zombies when you least expect them location tight spots blueprints side strike blaster that kind of thing so in the gun we're just gonna tear it open right now tear open the bottom at least on the gun there are two little things you gotta cut here let me try and get that cut one up there at the front of the blaster, and one on the back of the blaster, right here, to get the get the blaster out. I actually get this thing off. There we go. Um, so in there, you just kind of pull the blaster out. Then over here, yeah, I can get this open. Um, it has your directions. Uh, we don't really need those. I know how. It's we you have your directions. Little gun, show your holster where bullets go, that kind of thing. Shooting, that kind of thing. But we don't need that. Um, then you have your six bullets right here. Six zombie strike nerf bullets. From here on, we don't need the package. Get rid of that. Uh, so then we have your six zombie strike nerf darts. Just uh, plain green, pretty much elite darts. Then you have your gun. It comes with a holster to keep. We'll talk about that in a minute. Um, then the gun itself, it has in the front the place where you load your bullet. Easy as that. Then in the front, it also has two places to hold bullets. And they're nice snug places, so if you, they won't just fall out. Like, if you're running around or you shake it really hard, it's not going to fall out. So, that's nice. It's, but it's not so snug that if you try and pull a bullet out, it's not hard. And when you're loading a bullet, it's nice and easy. Like that. Uh, on the bottom, there's a bomb tactical rail. I guess if you want to put a little uh, Tripod, which I don't know why you would, optical, that kind of thing. Uh, grip, which would be funny because you'd just be walking around like this. Um, then, no other tactical rails. To prime it on the back, or on the top, up here, to prime it, you go. And then, what? Well, that, that fires pretty well, okay. Um, didn't realize it fired like that. Yeah, you can dry fire it, load another bullet. Do that kind of thing. And that's pretty much it for the gun. There you have your trigger right here. Uh, the hand grip is pretty nice for a smaller hand, like a like a little kid's hand. Uh, if you really want to, you can hold it like this, or you can hold it like that, aim down the iron sight, which is up here. There, and then the other part of the iron sight, here and here. And it's, I don't know, for bigger hands, it might not be as easy, but it might be nice for, it might be fine for bigger hands. Right fire. Um, so then that's the gun. And moving on to the I'm gonna take a dart out of here actually. Moving on to the holster. Uh it has it's pretty much symmet yeah, symmetrical on both sides. So and on the top it has a place top and bottom, it has a place where you can hold bullets, two on each area. So that means you can hold four bullets on here and three bullets in here. So if you had one extra bullet you'd be able to have You'd be able to hold seven bullets, and you'd be able to fill up the entire gun. So the gun in, and the holster included, you can hold up to seven darts. And on the holster, it has your in-strike, like zombie, or not in-strike, 
zombie strike bullet or not bullet logo kind of thing on the on here and the the gun fits nice and snug into there and it's an easy draw and if you it's the problem is if you're like shaking around your gun might fall that's the only downside on the holster and it sit and it has this little thing right here so it doesn't have to only fit on belts it can fit on like regular parent pants like this so you ha have your holster right there so quick draws so you like that kind of thing. The only problem is that it's not as like sturdy and stuff. It it's not as strong because it has since it has this kind of thing on the back. But Nerf can kind of do that because the gu the gun is really light. So when you put in, it fits nice and snug. But if you're like shaking it around or doing anything or doing somersaults and jumping off stuff in a Nerf battle or something, it may fall out. So if you have like special attachments on the bottom or uh, paint a nice paint job that you don't want to get broken or something or messed up, then you may want to get a better holster. But for like a little Nerf gun battle in like a little area where you have soft ground or on carpet or something, and if it falls, it's not going to chip, then it, it's fine. It's a good holster for in that case. For uh, left-handed people, for the left-handed people, it's, um, it is a little bit more annoying because you have to so because then you have to do that and it doesn't fit it fits a little less snug when you have it that way but a lot of right-handed people or no it this a lot of right-handed people or no this is left-handed you left-handed people would have it um on this side so they could just draw it really easily but as you can see it might fall off well f the gun might fall out of it if you just Holding it like that, it may fall off. Um, you can, and then you may have to switch the gun around like that to actually get it to sit in that holster. But for the gun, that's pretty much it. So we're gonna do a range test, and I'll be right back. Here's a range test. We're going to be shooting at down there and see how far it will go. Um, we have the gun here, preloaded. We're going to shoot three darts down there and with the camera over here. Then we're going to bring the camera over there so you can see the ranges better and see how far it really goes. Or see better how it goes. So, I'm going to shoot three from here and three with the camera over there. One, two, three. We got rid of the draft that was in here before, so now it's just my terrible aiming. I need to stand there. So I'm actually going to aim for you guys. One, two, three. Yeah, there's... I don't know, the gun is good. I like it. But the thing with the firing and stuff is that it kind of curves, it, it, it looks like. So I'm aiming right down the iron sight, right where I want it. And that one went... How I wanted it to go. So that's the first three. We're going to bring it down there. So. Okay, guys, so now the camera's down there, so you can actually see how it might shoot. Got primed. Pretty good shot. Pretty good. Load another bullet. Decent. Go hit the wall. Still pretty far. chair over here, back there, that you guys might saw, um, one here, here, so the majority of them landed around here, but some of those de uh, dead shot it and hit the wall or something, one landed back there, uh, three of them actually hit up here, so this is a good majority of them clumped up in this area, so this can kind of show you how far it would normally shoot in a nerf war, so that, in my opinion, I'd recommend the gun for like a sidearm, like if you got if you were in Nerf War or HVZ Humans vs Zombies, you and you need a 
secondary weapon because your primary ran out. This would be a good gun or a good weapon because you can, if especially if you're using this holster, it may not be as good mainly because your weight it, it may fall fall out because in an HVZ game you may be running it falls out and you can't really it'd be hard to go back and find your pistol ten minutes later because you'd probably be like a mile away. Um, so it's a decent sidearm for that kind of thing. Good holster because it can carry seven bullets all together. Uh, the pump action is kind of it's pretty smooth, not hard to pull back for someone my age or littler. Easy to pull back. The handle isn't bad. It's a nice handle. Easy to use with both hands. Uh, nice tactical rail for whatever you like, like a little hand grip, flashlight, laser pointer, that kind of thing. But yeah, that's my opinion. I'd recommend it for an HVZ Nerf War. Yeah, so that's my review on the zombie nerf zombie strike side strike. Thank you very much for watching. Like and comment in the description. And f feel free to subscribe. Thank you very much for watching.